Good evening, everybody. I hope I got my audio. Yay, I see the audio levels. Okay, so tonight is going to be a bit of a weird... I should probably take a picture of this. Um, how's it going, Ellen? <sighs> I am solo tonight. Tonight's going to be one of those nights where... Um, yeah. I'm going to be here by myself. The beard could not make it. It was a lot, At the last minute, he got tied up with some family stuff. He's got to take care of his family. You know, they're doing all their last minute uh, Christmas stuff. So, yeah, he's uh, he's doing uh, he's doing the Christmas thing. Um, a few other people wanted to make it. They couldn't make it. So, you know what? And I'd already had for evening plans. So we're doing this. We're going to do this. Um, I will be a little bit off because I am sitting here trying to run the show and keep track of a uh, hey, retro try to keep track of everything. So, yeah. Um, it's going to be a very merry, happy holidays, Christmas, Hanukkah, all, uh, uh, do, do, do. what else am I forgetting here? Um, try to get everybody happy holidays, everybody, because yeah, I've got so many friends of so many different uh, 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 religions and uh, beliefs and stuff that uh, I can't possibly keep track of them all because function, not brain. Um, so, <laughs> Ellen, I can do it. Yes, I could do it. Tonight's... Oh, this is some good stuff. Tonight's Happy Juice um, is High West Whiskey Double Rye. It's a blend of rye whiskeys. And it's from uh, Utah, uh, Park City, Utah. This is actually pretty good stuff. It is smooth. Hmm. I think, I mean, the whiskey is exceptional. But the, uh, it's not as much of a bite on it. It's just really, really good. I may have to have a second glass of this because, you know, tis a season and Santa Claus deserves a little extra sugar. Mm. Mm. Anyway, High West Whiskey. I would have to say one of the cool things, and uh, uh, Mandy's going to have to be fighting me for it, is this bottle. Because it's got the little bubbles in it, and it kind of looks like an old Western bottle. It's probably, you know, the aesthetic, it's really, that's some thick glass. So, yeah, this is, uh, Mandy, you may be fighting me for this one. Because I kind of like, I'm going to keep this one kind of in the shot. Because this is some good stuff. Oh, this is good. Just, oh, mm. oh it smells so good. All right. All right. All right. So, how you guys doing? Or let's see here. Oh. Oh, Crow, James, how you doing, man? It's the audio crazy show. Yeah. Lucille Ball? Really? At Carnegie. I wish. The Peaver. Good one, man. Um, so, good evening. I hope everybody's getting everything, all the big, pre great presents under the tree. Uh, I know I've kind of gotten everything. I think I got pretty much everything wrapped. I got it. Literally, as soon as this show is done, I'm going to be hopping in my car. So, there's going to be some post production stuff that's just going to have to wait until tomorrow. Um, but uh, as soon as the show is done, uh, I'm literally hopping in my car and going to the store. I've just got some stocking stuff for stuff to get. My car is packed filled with stuff right now. So, well, I probably shouldn't have said that live, but oh well. Um, it's actually safer for my car than it is in the house because my son will just tear into it before. You know, autism child, see present, get present. I love his logic. His logic is amazing. So, you has pizza? Rock on, man. My sister is amazing. She made some, uh, she made like breakfast dinner, like a sausage, uh, an egg uh, omelet, uh, burrito, not omelet, but yeah, or uh, 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 scrambled burrito kind of thing. Really good. I came home to dinner to that, and I was like, I was like, oh, I get real food. You know, it's either me coming home, I either hit fast food or I hit, uh, or I've got cheese quesadillas. You know, because you know, single guy. You know, cheese quesadillas. I live off those. No joke. Oh, and happy juice. Mmm. Mmm. So good. So, has everybody been getting everything they wanted from uh, uh, Santa this year? I know a lot of people have been. Uh, my hard part is uh, uh, my daughter decided to turn her Steam account back on, and of course, Steam sales, Daddy. So yeah, I've been buying her, which is going to be fine. She doesn't know it, but uh, her Christmas is going to be uh, right now. She's having a hard time playing her games on uh, her Steam games because her laptop lags so bad. But Santa's got a fix for that, and she'll be getting that tomorrow. So 
Your sister made lasagna. Ellen said my sister made lasagna. Rock on. Breakfast, yeah, old crow, breakfast, uh, dinner is the best. It really is. I'm just really glad she didn't slip some, like, uh, syrup or something in there. Uh, Ellen, I do have, okay, your candy challenge is going to wait. Um, everybody think, uh, Ellen, she did provide us with uh, a candy challenge, and I got a Christmas gift here, but I told her I would wait and open it. I haven't even manhandled it, so I'm not even sure what it is. I'm 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 kind of scared because it's a little bit firmer. I was thinking, like, a shirt or something, but that's... Unless you're washing something funky with the shirts, but I don't know. I'll, I'll quit fondling it because so, this is like the first time I was like, I'm actually starting to manhandle it. It's been sitting in the box, and I it, I forgot it at work all weekend, so I didn't even have a chance to look at it. Um, but yeah, she, she I told her I'd open this on uh, on the show tonight. Retro, we had leftovers from P- uh, Pappy's. Ooh, good stuff. I have not been to Pappy's in a long time. The problem is it's across town, so that's a hard one for me to get to. Be gentle? You're telling me to be gentle. That's, you're just making challenges. That's that's kind of hard for me to do. All right, so there's a couple things I want to get to tonight. Uh, let's see here. Where is the first one? Oh, this one was really cool. So, do, 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 do. and I'm, I'm going to open up the, the present at the end of the show. I've got a whole deal, big deals set up for that. Um, so, for those of you guys who don't know, and i got to pull up this graphic real quick. Hold on. Let me see if I can. Oop. I've got two mice here, and I'm still trying to figure it out. Let's see here. Uh, read the wrapping paper. Read the, okay, Ellen says read the wrapping paper. I will do that, Ellen. Not a problem. All right. So, if you guys are fine on the Twitter, and that's actually not the world's greatest. Gra- a lot of this graphics and stuff I had to do at the last minute, and I was slapping it together. I mean, we're trying to get everything done in a single day at work, and... Getting all this side stuff. So um, if you guys keep track, uh, somebody na- goes by Riot Gene, uh, G-C-H-O-R-B-A on Twitter. He posted, so the Disney Build uh, Your Own Lightsaber system uses RFID. The Build Your Own Lightsaber is the Galaxy's Edge lightsabers. They're $200 lightsabers. Um, he found out that they use RFID chips in them. And he's already found out that if you have an RFID reader and writer, and if you guys, you can change the colors of your lightsaber. Essentially what it is, is you're supposed to keep buying the crystals, and by buying a different crystal, you can change your lightsaber to different colors. Well, he found out, and what's in the, the, uh, the, the crystal is just off-the-shelf RFID stuff. You pop it in, it reads the RFID information, and corresponding that color. Well, if you have an RFID reader and writer, you can change the code on it and make it to whatever color you want. So, yeah, he found out that, uh, it, let's see here, the, the post in the article, seems the color of the blade and they're quite spent. Yeah, because it's a $200. Uh, just It's $200 for the lightsaber itself at after you purchase a ticket to Disneyland. And you say it's not something specific to the crystals. So the uh, so as Riot Games' uh, Gene Chorba pointed out yesterday, if you have an RFID rewriter, you can avail yourself of all five light colors without buying a different crystal. <sighs> yeah, custom lightsabers, they run not 199 uh, I don't remember how... Does, that, does anybody know like what the individual... Oh, yeah, it's... Uh, And some of the, okay, here's the thing. I don't know how much, do anybody know how much the crystals are themselves? That's not bad considering there is a lightsaber at Walmart for $149. Yeah, but the nice thing about the one at uh, the, the Galaxy's Edge is you get to kind of build it yourself. It's a little bit more substantial. Uh, they're actually pretty nice. And for some people who are really, really diehard, uh, they kind of say, I'd like to see what they are. I haven't personally seen one upstairs. I've only heard stories. I would like to see one. Um, but... If you want to change the colors on one, rather than keep buying a different crystal, you can find on Amazon an RFID reader writer for about 20 bucks. <laughs> no joke. Oh, I forgot to put my notes up. Sorry, people. I'm still, I am way off. You know what? Is it on the, give me a second here. Dee, dee, dee. Uh, yep. Here we go. Let me copy this. 
Oh, down in the show notes is going to be all the links and stuff. If I, if I forget to post them, I apologize. So, yeah, if you guys, ever, uh, anybody ever has a Galaxy Z lightsaber and you want to change the color, go spend 20 bucks on RFID. We got to learn how to use it and do the programming, but it's not that difficult. I'm pretty sure there's going to be some people out there with tutorials and stuff like that. Yeah, but for 20 bucks, you can change the color on them, which honestly is not that bad. It, it, it's kind of a silly to keep having to pay. It depends on how much it is. How much does anybody know how much they charge to change the color? Like, do you have to buy a whole new lightsaber, or can you just buy the individual crystals? And how much do they charge? Are they charging like 30, 40 bucks for just the crystal? Because if that's the case, then the RFID reader is a better. It, it is always the better way to go. It, it just depends on how much they charge. If they're charging like five bucks, it's like, well, I can kind of see buying a couple of the only only the colors you want. You know, anybody wants the uh, not, was it Mace Windu? Uh, is that the one with the purple one? Yes, and that, I was going to segue into that. Uh, Old Crow Gaming goes, if anyone has not seen Rise of Skywalker, it's pretty good. It is. Overall, I would have to say it is a pretty good, it is a really good movie. There's a couple of areas, and everybody's going to have sticky points. The problem is, is I'm here at this point. The movies, this is the first weekend it's out. I'm still not going to say anything. I did enjoy it. I went and, uh, me and uh, Lady Duke went and saw it uh, in IMAX, of course. I had to see it in IMAX. I plan on seeing it again. I'm going to see if I can take my daughter. But, um, yeah, no, we're not doing no spoilers. Yes, Alan, no, sto no spoilers whatsoever. I did enjoy it. There was some technical stuff, and they, they basically tried to head off the pass on, well, why did they do that? And they, you know, and some of the story plot lines. But I thought they did a relatively good job. Um, it seemed they did things a little bit more technical in this movie, but overall, it was a good movie. There's a couple of points I was like, really? Why, why, why did you have to do that? Beyond that, no, it was a really, really, very scenic. Um, they did answer a few questions. Uh, they brought mo a couple of more. Uh, I have a feeling that some of the people, and those of you guys who saw the, uh, it's hard to talk about them without going into it. But the ones I have a feeling we're going to see mo maybe more of those in other movies or uh, more spinoff of like uh, the television series. Uh, maybe we'll see some of that kind of stuff in The Mandalorian. And speaking of Mandalorian, I, as you guys saw the meme and stuff, let's see what we got here. Uh, we're going tomorrow to watch it at Studio Movie Grill. My wife got six free tickets. Oh, congrats, man. We're going to enjoy. Have fun. You're going after New Year's? Yeah, I wouldn't see it. I need to go see it again. Um, Ellen, if we have time, maybe we can go. Uh, I, I'm, I, I've got my trip. Like I said, I, I got a work trip coming up, and I'm going to have an evening free. So maybe we'll do something. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll look it up. So where are we? Where are we? I keep track of time because it's really hard to... Oh, we're doing amazing on time. It's hard to do this stuff. It's just like I'm bantering with myself. And normally my conversations with myself are a little bit more argumentative than, uh, you know, happy chanter. So did I say chanter? Wow, that was actually pretty bad. This is really good. Happy juice is good tonight. This is, I'm glad, I went, like I said, I went down and imbibed. And I love those people because uh, I was just like, I'll ask them, I was like, I need something different for tonight's show. And they were like, well... Have you tried this? And it was just like, well, no. And I, it's one of those things I would just walk past it, but they knew enough about it and would talk me into it. So I'm, I'm pretty happy they, or I'm pretty glad they showed me this. And I just love this bottle. I really do. This is going to be, like I said, this is probably going to be a bottle I hold on to. Cause like, honestly, as soon as this bottle's empty, it's going to probably become a good blunt weapon. Like who needs a baseball bat when you've got a high West whiskey bottle? Let's see here. Retro. Thanks. Since the tickets were free, we're going to eat dinner there too. So we'll watch the movie and eat dinner at the same time, huh? And the fact they bring you uh, drinky drinks while you watch is awesome. Yeah, I know. Uh, I will say this about uh, Movie Studio Grill, and I haven't been there in a long time. The reason being is I went there twice during the first few months they were open. Both times it was, no, I've been there three times, two times to eat meals. I was going to do the full experience. The first time, and I kind of gave them the benefit of the doubt after it happened, was a company event. Well, the movie was just about over by the time any of us started getting our food. Uh, and when it did get there, it was kind of cold. 
Um, it was almost next to impossible to get a hold of anybody. So even when you hit the button, we, you waited 20 minutes before someone came back. So it was just one of those, and their thing was, well, it's you know we're still trying to get things open. They had they had more excuses than anything else, uh, rather than being just apologetic. So, but I'm one of those people. I like to give people a second try. So I went again. and I took my kids, and it didn't take as long, but I would say halfway to three quarters of the movie is when the food finally arrived. And when you're seeing like a two, two and a half hour movie, that's, that's a bit excessive. So I went back another time because someone gave me tickets and I saw a movie. I can't remember what it was. And it's just too far of a drive. It's, it's, it's an, a pretty good drive out of my way to go, go to that place. And the two times I went, the food experience was pretty poor. So I haven't really felt like going back. Plus, if it's like I want to sit in this big, huge, comfy chair, I've got the Maya, which is right down the street from uh, from my house and my work. I've got uh, AMC Six, which works, which has got the huge, comfy chairs. So I've got a lot of options uh, that's really close by. The movie Studio Grill is just a bit too far out of the way. Let's see here, Retro. Yeah, Old, old Crow. It did open after it's, it's it like just opened like. Uh, Maybe a year or two ago, it's it's pretty new. It's one of the newer theaters. Well, no, I think AMC Six is old. Can't remember. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's a bummer. Yeah. Uh, last time we went, we saw Detective Pikachu, and a everything was very fast. Each row has ha their own specific uh, waiter now to make things quicker. Now that works. Yeah. Lucky for us, uh, it's about one mile from our house. Ah. Uh, yeah, now well, so you know where I live, so I'm way across town. And if I'm going to go to something, and like I said, I don't know the movie, the eating experience was. I'll need to give it another shot. I, I I'm one of those people. I don't cross things off. It's like sometimes you just need to give them some time to give to get the, get their act straight or whatever. And I'm more than willing to give a place another shot, but it's just like, do I really want to risk spending that kind of money? where I can go invest it in a place that I already know I, I go and have a great experience with. So that's, that's kind of my dilemma right now. So, um, I think it, what are we at? What time what, is it time? I think we need to, is it candy challenge time? There's nobody else here to, to do candy challenge with me. Oh crap. And I got the, all right. So hold on one second while I do this. Bing! Look at that. Um, how do I do this? Uh, let me do that. All right, it's just me. Candy challenge time. Um, like I said, just me, and I'm kind of winging as I go, people. We'll make this work. All right, tonight's uh, uh, Ellen. Yes, I did. I did get your candy challenge. It is sitting over there, uh, but it's a bit more questionable than I like, so Beard's going to have to suffer it with me, and it is going to be about two weeks before we can get to that. So uh, so we're, we're I'm holding off on your candy challenge. This week's candy challenge is, and these are like a holiday, it is sweet cinnamon. And even my daughter was like, uh, and I'm not sure I'm going to like this, but uh, yeah, sweet cinnamon Kit Kats. I like me some Kit Kats, but I'm not too sure. I'm not a big fan of cinnamon and chocolate i just i'm not i would prefer to have see i am so upset i haven't had any jalapeno and chocolate in a while, but, all right oh. see it's got that smell that's kind of like uh reminds me of coffee and it's just the way chocolate and maybe it's just the way it, my, it, it affects or maybe i'm just used to people having cinnamon in their coffee all the time but that's what I smell. It's like cinnamon coffee. And I just, ugh. all right. So let's see. Mine haven't came yet for some reason. Probably Christmas. Huh? But as soon as it does, I'll come back with you guys. Rock on. All right. So let me give this one a shot. Hmm. Um. So. There is definitely cinnamon in that. And there's definitely... Oh, there's a link for everybody. I almost forgot. Yeah, there's some definitely a... 
I don't know. I don't know about that one. I mean, I like Cinnamon to a point. I think I got ruined by Cinnamon a long time ago because someone hit me with something and it was just this bunch of dry cinnamon in my mouth. And that just, your taste buds like never forgive you for stuff like that. And that's what happened. I don't know. Does it go well with happy juice? Chase it with fireball. Now that's an idea. Unfortunately, I don't have that low grade of whiskey. And yes, I'm calling it low grade. That it fireball is fireball is what you drink at frat parties. I like the adult whiskey. All right. It actually, I'm gonna say this much. I'm gonna try another one. It actually does go well with, with whiskey. I'm not joking. I'm like, I'm not a big fan of these. They're not horrible. It's it, it's it's not bad. I just, I'm not a big chocolate and cinnamon. Like, I know people like hot cocoa with the cinnamon and stuff. Like, I'm not a big fan of that. Then again, I'm a big fan of bitter chocolate. So I think this would probably be better with uh, dark chocolate. Okay, let me try it again. That's actually not bad. Like, if anybody wants to know what goes well with their cat, Kit Kat cinnamon, High West whiskey. So I found a compliment. You know, here we go, here we go. I found you guys a good compliment. <laughs> that is actually uh, usually we're like we'll have stuff let's see what we get people are saying here my right drink coffee of choice like that and tequila rose oh, okay tequila rose I've never had that alright so that's actually I'm, I'm surprised how well that go, goes together with Kit Kats those of you guys who like uh, whiskey and like these complement each other pretty well Mm. It like, believe it or not, this flows with that cinnamon a little bit. It actually makes that cinnamon in there a little bit more enjoyable. That's actually surprisingly different. That is pretty good. Mm. Mm. Wow, that actually works really well. That's a. All right, anybody wants to know what you can put with those? A good smooth whiskey complements this stuff really well. I mean, it really does. It works with that chocolate and cinnamon a little bit. Uh, you guys are going on about that tequila, uh, tequila rose. Tequila rose smoothies. All right. Strawberry milk tequila. Okay. I don't know what you're talking about. All right, I'll have to try some of that. Maybe next time I'm down at uh, over in Bible, I'll see what they've got. All right, so let's go back to here. Let's make that go away. I'm not paying attention. So it's that time. It's the end of the year, and we've discussed about passwords before. But there was an article that came out, and uh, you can guys find the link in, uh, down below. So. Gizmodo posted an article, they uh, or wasn't Gizmodo, Splash Data has released uh, its ninth annual Worst Passwords of the Year list. And it addresses more than 5 million leaked passwords to determine the most commonly shared by hackers. Now, these are passwords that people have gotten, they've gotten a hold of, shared the accounts, and they were, you know... This year's list has revealed that people are still using easily guessable and common passwords to guard their data, it includes those frequently cited in past reports as being particularly susceptible to attacks. Seriously, people, I want everybody who's watching this to go and look at this list. If you are using any one of these passwords, you do not have a password. End of discussion. These are the most common, this is the ones they, they whenever they uh, they use like a dictionary hack, they use these lists. 
And if you're using any of these as any one of your passwords, you do not have security whatsoever. And anybody pretty much can have a run access to your stuff. So, yeah, I, look at these passwords. It's like, it's a blows my mind how people do this. So, number one, which has not changed since last year, number one is, you may want to write this down, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let that sink in. Somebody, not just somebody, but this is the most, one of the most commonly used. So there are millions of peoples, millions of not very bright people that are using this as a password. Number two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That has moved up to number two. Number three, QWERTY. Q W E R T Y. Yeah, I know, dude. That's a old crow. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a combination I use in my luggage. Yes. I was thinking the same thing. Space balls. It's the space balls. Yeah. Number four, which has moved down two places, password. Now, I'm going to go into this little tirade. Password is pretty common for manufacturer. And the reason why it's this, uh, this is one of the reasons that I believe this is pretty high is manufacturers have had a long history of using password for the password on def uh, as the default for equipment and not requiring changing after uh, setting up the equipment. So a lot of old school technicians never change them. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven is up to number five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is down to number six. One, two, three, four, five is down to number seven. I love you, all in lowercase, is number eight. I do puns for my password. Nice. One, 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 one is down to number nine. One, two, three, one, two, three. We got some dancers in there. That's up. It's up seven places to number 10. Really, people? Is people really using one two three one two three like QWERTY one two three, which is kind of crazy? It is up thirteen, up thirteen places to number twelve. One Q two W three E R E four R. Just look at the keyboard. <sighs> number that's a new one, and it's number thirteen. This one hurts me deeply. Admin is number 14. It's down two places. Who puts admin as a password? Uh, I do know there's companies, there, some hardware manufacturers do have admin as default. Uh, QWERTY UIOP, that's number 15, which is new. 654321, it's up to number 16. 555555, five, 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 five. isn't that like from a movie? That's number 17, 555, 555. Five, five, five. Lovely is a new one at 18. 777, 7777. Seven, seven. Okay, there's a bunch of sevens there at 19. Welcome is down seven, uh, seven places to number 20. 888888 is number 21. Okay, Princess is number 22. If you're using princess as your password, you're not a princess. Just saying. Dragon is number 23. Password 1 is number 24. That has unchanged. 123QW. These it just goes on and on and on. Password with a 0 for the uh, for for the O. That one's number 44. I want to know why Bailey is number 45.
<laughs> Ellen, my old work password was my fra- uh, was my favorite. Touchscreen rage. I love it. That's awesome. Exactly. You're supposed to change your password every three months, and that's what uh, honestly that's what we do in my work. Uh, and that was I, I'm appreciative of that policy. I am happy for that policy, but that is not a policy that uh, I, I I will take the credit for. But I am glad that we did put it. Uh, we did have that password put in place. All I'm going to say is this: one, if your password can be easily figured out, do not sit there and think. I'm the only one in the world looking at this keyboard and thinking this simplistic pattern will work. No. Um, If I can give you some advice on passwords, I'm going to tell you this. Pick a word or pick something you commonly think of. Something that's, that's something you would remember. Um, sometimes it'll be like, I will tell people, do you have like a, a kitty term? Um, case in point, say that your kids said something or your niece or nephew or somebody, they had said something and it always kind of stuck. Like, uh, they didn't say tomato. They said tomato. Okay. Woo. Something bugged me in the back of my head. Um, all right. So let's do tomato, change the E to a three. You've got an un- ununique word. Change one of the letters to a three and add an exclamation point, an ampersand, a star at the beginning or ending of it. There you go. A very unique and custom p- uh, password. It's not the s- strongest, but it's a lot better than using no password at all. Justin Bailey. Well, who's Justin Bailey? I don't get it. Is that a pun or something, Justin Bailey? I may be missing something. I may need to drink a little bit more. Mm. All right, we're doing great on time. Sorry, I'm trying to get the flow back up here. Like I said, I need, we need to get. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to get this. Uh, can I already get that done. Can I already start. Um, oh, I forgot my notes for something else. I forgot it. I forgot it. I forgot it. I think I forgot it at the house. Oh, for, oh, did I forget it over here? Give me a second here. I had. I forgot them. Oh well. Let's see here. Retro. Uh, most of mine are actually a car part that is no longer in business that was associated with street racing, which I did back in, along with capitals and at the end, and then every three months I changed. Oh, rock on. No, that's actually pretty good, especially when you're doing, you're doing obscure stuff like, uh, see, I don't know what racing stuff you did, because uh, I, I know you got a Scion. Or you got, no, it's not a Scion. Don't know, but I'm trying to remember, you know, like Honda or uh, some of the other companies and stuff like that. Let's see here. Old Crow, Justin Bailey was the password you can use on the ori- original's mes- Metroid on NES. It starts you in Norfair and Sam Zero uh, suit with the uh, wave beam and a ton of missiles. Oh, okay. So, okay, I can see that. So, for whatever reason, people are trying to, a bunch of gamers are trying to use the same password. Not very bright. That's also why I'm glad companies are starting to uh, get a little bit more stringent on their password complexity, and they're not allowing people to put simplistic words, and they're blocking. And I've, I've got a lot of companies that are blocking uh, well-known passwords. So... Okay, so you did Honda's too. Uh, I drove a Kia. I drove a Kia racing in that uh, thing, huh? Yeah, dude. You can make them quick. It just depends on what the motor's capable of and how much you have to spend on, uh, you know, uh, custom blocks and everything else. So, um, oh, okay, you just entered uh, enter Justin Bailey and then twelve dashes on the second row. Okay, cool. A little bit of gaming knowledge there. Rock on. I am seriously thinking about getting a Nintendo Switch just so I can download a bunch of the old Nintendo ROMs. 
Like, I have a bunch of them on my uh, RetroPie, but being able to have them on a Nintendo Switch, I think that'd be really, really freaking awesome. All right, where are we at now? We need to do uh, we need to do the Cave Gem. Cave Gem, Cave Gem. And I got to do this, and then I got to do this because nobody wants to stare at... Where is it? That one. Yay! <laughs> I'm trying to do this. Oh, geez, am I getting the hiccups now? Oh, this sucks. I have two mice. I'm like trying to control one, trying to control here, two. So give me a second while I, I situate this. And let me post the link. This is, and I'm going to have to pull this up. So give me a second here. I need to do this and do this. Space to go. I got to pull this up. What the heck? All right, let me do that. Oh, that sucks. I just got the link that's not working, so give me a second here. Dude, the thing was seriously working. Ah, here we go. All right, give me a second here. I'm going to repost the link real quick because there's a new one. All right, there you go. Try that one. This is the Mandalorian large size uh, cosplay PVC injected mold and uh, helmet, but it's actually really well done. Normal size, large size, but uh, it actually, I think it's done really well, uh, really done, especially with the small bit of detail on the back of the helmet. And the fact that the person, there really is no actual molds out there. Somebody, they probably had to like 3D print their own mold, which, you know, kind of hand it to them. But this is, now the size of it is, it's 28 inches by 25.6 inch. So it's actually a pretty good size. Uh, PVC with metal like coating on the surface. It looks very textured, rugged, environmental friendly, and non-toxic. Well, I hope it's non-toxic. Um... I don't know how long it's going to... It doesn't look like it's a... Uh, doesn't look like it's an actual licensed product. I just noticed it and ran and, and went with it. And there's actually a bunch of people posting them. So that's probably what the what, probably what's going on is they keep deleting them. So if they not, uh, just check it out. Take a look. See what you guys think. Uh, but that that is the... <laughs> uh... Yeah, it is. It looks really nice. It's a, a very Mandal It's a Mandalorian replica um, helmet made of Beskar. No, not really. PVC, PVC uh, simulated Beskar. I think it'd be kind of cool. Those uh, those looking to cosplay and want to get. Honestly, I can see people buying it not for the fact of wearing it, but buying it to make their own molds. If you can get your hands on one of these, this would be a good starter point for a mold. If you didn't have to make your own, because I am—I know there's some cosplayers out there that would take this, develop their own mold, and make do ones with a lot. You know, uh, make some adjustments to make a lot better uh, detail to it, and do a lot better job with it. Yeah, it looks really good. Um, Where are we going here? Sorry, I'm trying. I got three monitors I'm sitting in front of him. I'm trying to keep track of everything. All right, that looks good there. So I will post that again later. Hopefully that will stay up. I don't know. Keep, click on it and take a look. See what you guys think. Um, I got a feeling that's going to be one of those items that it's not going to stay up there for very long. So some of you guys are going to click the link and it's not going to go anywhere. So... Uh, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if this doesn't stay up there. See, what's the price on it? Forty six fifty. So that's about fifty bucks, which isn't bad actually. Fifty dollars for a really uh, for a life size cosplay uh, Mandalorian helmet. But I wouldn't be surprised. The reason why it keeps disappearing is because uh, it's not uh, uh, it's not uh, licensed, and uh, you know, this is Disney's cash cow, man. Don't mess with Disney's money. They'll come looking for you. Mm. Where are we at on time? Oh, wow, we're doing real good. See, this doesn't work very... You're, 
energy is a little bit different tonight. I got to stop focusing on that. But anyway, that's tonight's Cave Gem. Um, take a look. Uh, as always, if you guys have any suggestions for Cave Gems, uh, want to uh, show me anything, just send me a link. I'll take a look at it. Um, I got a few other ones. I've ordered a bunch of stuff that, so I can uh, kind of do a little bit more uh, Cave Gem looking and stuff like that. Uh, got some future products uh, that I wanted to take a look at. So anyway, it's time to move on. Where we got Joe? I'm, I, I, no joke, I have monitor here, monitor here, camera here, laptop here, happy juice here. Hmm. Problem is, I'm going to have to slam down a bunch of water. I ate quite a bit, so this is not quite hitting me as well tonight as it, it has. <sighs> so, I think we need to get to the final segment, and that is... The celebration of Christmas. Um, let's just get right through this. And we're, we'll cycle through these a lot. I didn't get as many images as I had hoped, but Merry Christmas, everybody. Happy holidays and all that wonderful stuff. Let me get rid of that. All right, there we go. Oh, that's not what I wanted either here. Make that go away. There we go. Yay. So these are a bunch of memes. It is time to open. Oh, Actually, one thing, uh, I'll come back and talk to the, uh, talk about this. I, I got the Steam Controller. I got a chance to play with it and mess with it, so I figured I was going to talk about it here in a little bit. And I, it's been sitting here, and I keep looking at it and forgetting to mention it. So, All right, so Ellen sent Christmas my way. Thank you, Ellen. Should I be warned? I mean, is anything going to jump out at me? Uh, I mean, you have sent, you know, chocolate-covered roaches and ants and everything else. Um, I'm assuming there's no chocolate in here, but there still could be bugs. Am I, should... uh... Wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. It stopped clicking. Oh, there it goes again. Let's see here. All right, I posted something for you on your Discord server. Oh, okay. I need to check it. I took Discord off my phone because I was getting messages and stuff. So I'm going to open this, and you guys keep an eye on the, on the, the Christmas memes. We need gifts in chat. How do we get those? Can we do those? In, can I do those in chat? How do we work those? Let me look. Uh, I think that has to, I, I think most of those stuff, or is that something you, I don't think you can do that in YouTube. I think you get uh, emoticons, but, or emojis, but uh, yeah, all you get is emojis. No, I don't think in YouTube you can. I wouldn't be surprised they're wanting to add it, but I think it's a way of controlling content, especially for kids. Uh, read the wrapping paper. Okay, so. Staching? Stashing through the snow. Stashing through the snow. This, the fact that it says stashing through the snow, I'm a little scared. Is there anything else I'm supposed to read before I open it? Or is it just the stashing through the snow? It's kind of cool. Look at that. Stashing. Am I upside down? Oh, yeah, it is. It's upside down. Here you go. Stashing through the snow. All right. Is there anything else I'm missing here? Let's see here. Yeah, especially in the face of the cup of stuff, we're not getting gifts in chat anytime soon, if ever. Yeah, the whole point of them trying to control everything. Uh, it's mostly because they got in trouble. Uh, they got in trouble with the uh, or YouTube got in trouble uh, with government and stuff like that for not policing things for kids very well. So they've had to put the the, the crackdown on it. Uh, Ellen says, nope, that's it. All right, so now I can open it up. This will begin the complete and utter nightmare mess that is going to happen tomorrow morning. Hey, look, everybody, I got an Amazon bag. All right, I can't show this side because it has her address on it, and I'm not going to do that. 
All right. So, so far, there's no massive amounts of glitter in there. I'm both relieved and a little disappointed, Ellen. You had an opportunity that you missed. All right. Stashing through this. No. All right. What do we get here? Oh. <gasps> oh, wow. Holy crap. I'm trying to slowly pull it out because I don't want it. Oh, that is beautiful. Everybody check that out. Hold on one second. I got to get the... This is... Wow. This is a clock, and it's actually on a record. Hell, <laughs> and you will have glitter. Now, the little... It's actually done on a, a record. I'm curious what the album was. Ellen won. Wow, that's beautiful. She's been doing some amazing artwork. I'm gonna when I go back to full screen, I'll show this. But that is beautiful. Thank you very much, Ellen. I think the little arm. I'm gonna have to. Yeah, they got kind of tweaked in the mail. Let me see if I can straighten them a little bit. Oh, I can't. My OCD is kicking in. I must straighten the our hand. Yeah, that's that's beautiful. So I can get it. Where, there we go. There's a good shot of it right there. So this, I'm gonna have to find a really good place for this somewhere. Yeah, I'm, thank you very much, Ellen. All right. Oh, that is beautiful. So I got to find a place on the wall to put it. Now are, you, now, are you trying to send me art, or are you trying to tell me to keep track of time better? I think she just sent me beautiful art. That is beautiful. That is, uh, that is very well done. Thank you very much. Uh, Ellen who's a, an amazing artist, sent me that. She actually, this is the second piece. If you guys don't know, uh, this piece right here behind me, this ocean wave uh, art, that is done by Ellen too. Ellen, do you have a... Uh... Dude, thank you. Um, Ellen, do you have a link to, do you have a, like a, a an Etsy or uh, do you have a page where a bunch of your artwork and stuff is put? Um, I mean, post in chat. I, I like. Uh, every, I know some other people would probably be interested in some of your stuff. So please, uh, please, yeah, please post a link. Uh, yeah, that's that's freaking beautiful. Yeah, and I gotta find a really good, really nice place for it. I'm probably going to try to squeeze it like. Right over here, like this is the shirt. My my, this right here is the shirt my sis, my daughter got me while she was in England. I may need to move that over, uh, over here, and then uh, put the clock right here. I don't know. I'm gonna figure it out. It may actually, I may put it behind the beard too, because I wouldn't be able to keep track of it behind me. But next year, okay, we'll get that set up. I I, I, I we'll definitely post that up some places, and uh, you know. You do a lot of a lot of amazing work, and this is kind of a cool little deal to help. It actually did a pretty good job protect, protecting the. Uh, what are these called again? The the hands of the clock. Thank you. Uh, it took me a minute to. Funk, okay, I need more happy use. Mm. So, <laughs> I'm posting this for you guys. Are you guys getting like? How's your guys' uh, Christmas, your holidays going for you guys? Could put it on my, uh, put it in my beard, uh, was my thought. We need, here's Ellen, here's a little thing. I want, we need to figure out how to put a clock in the beard, in uh, uh, the beard itself. Like for uh, Gary's beard, Beard and Gary, well, I want to put a small clock in his beard. He, I want to make him father time. I think it'd be freaking awesome. But uh, how, is, how is Christmas going for you guys? I'm going to get out of here.
Uh, we're starting to do loops on the graphics, so oops, that's the wrong mouse. Let me go back up to here. Where are we at on time? Yeah, we got another 10 minutes. Let's go back to here. There we go. I got to update this text down at the bottom too, but anyway. Here, now that we are at full screen, let me pull this back up because I want to show you guys. Look at this. Is that not amazing? And it's kind of hard to see because the lighting in here, but these are actually gold numbers. I mean, not actual gold, but still, it, 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 this is, the lighting has make them look black, but they're, it's actually a really cool gold. And honestly, this whole paintbrush kind of thing that's on the back of the record itself, I think that's really cool. Because it goes well with the contrast of the uh, the the record groove, so I think it's kind of cool too. But yeah, this is I mean some beautiful colors. I blue is my favorite color, and you mix it with a purple, and I'm happy. They actually go well. I think this will go on the wall quite well. Fix uh, fixes the colors. So thank you again very much. Um. Clock and Beard's Beard. There you go. Uh, let's see here. Retro. Mom got me some stuff for my eBay store. Was on my Amazon list. Uh, was awesome. Rock on, man. It's meh. Another year alone, but otherwise. Dude, old I, uh, Jay, I completely understand. Uh, me being single is just kind of a choice. I don't know. I, I just... I, I think I've grown too accustomed to it. And honestly, it's... I don't see the point, and I'm happy. That's that's really all that matters. I'm happy. I've got amazing friends. Uh, I've got some of the most amazing kids I could never wish for, and uh, I don't. I'm happy. That's what all that matters. Um, me, I, I I'm making Christmas amazing this year. Uh, I got both. I set out to get. I'm not going to say it yet because I don't want to ruin the surprise, but I set out to get specific items for both uh, both my son and my daughter. I got them both. I got a few extras. Uh, I got some for my other families that are here in town. Uh, I'm not going to do the whole family. Uh, I wound up having to work tomorrow for half the day, which put a lot of my Christmas scheduling. So I'm not going to be spending, I'm going to be spending more time with my kids than with any, than the, uh, my, the rest of my family and stuff like that, uh, which is fine. Uh, I'm going to enjoy trying to do some sleeping in and some relaxing as well because as much as I'd like to, the New Year's, I'm literally going to be working. the uh, That's why next week there's not going to make me a show. Uh, Monday night I have a meeting. Tuesday night I have to work. Uh, Wednesday night I'm literally driving out of town with a server to go to another city to install it, and I'll be doing that uh, Thursday afternoon. I literally... Uh, New Year's, I do not have a single day off. And then that weekend, we've got stuff going on. And the weekend after that, we got stuff going on. So I'm just really, really, it, it's a moving and shaking. So those of you guys are having a great Christmas. Uh, I hope you are. I hope everything's going great for you. Uh, Retro says, as long as you're happy, that's all you need. Exactly, man. Um, so, but the, are you guys getting like, we can't always get everything we want. But are we getting what we are we getting enough of what we uh, what we want to be happy? That's the main thing. Um, me, it was just taking care of my kids. That literally was my main main focus. That's really all I want, and I got that done. And I'm literally this is the first time in years I am not stressing over Christmas. I'm really not uh, this Christmas. I am literally after this afternoon, after this morning, after I got the last. Well, I know I got to jam out of here and go get some last minute stuff, just some stocking stuff or stuff. That's really all I got to take care of. Um, beyond that, my Christmas is done. I've kind of gotten everybody taken care of. I try to get as much of it done last month, and I've been kind of on cruise control because, you know. Busy working, trying to do this and that. Uh, I will have to say this: my bit, my one of my main goals is to get a little bit, get a couple, get back up to doing a extra YouTube video a week, not just doing the live stuff. Uh, I love doing this show. I'm going to keep doing this show, but uh, I want to keep doing at least one piece of content every uh, outside of the Nerd Cave show uh, every week. Uh, I'm really not trying to make this as a, a, a New Year's resolution, but it's kind of sounding like it. I guess I don't know. Let's see here. You don't always have to get what you want. 
but you get what you need. True, exactly. Uh, Retro goes. I just wanted to be, uh, just wanted the kids to be taken care of first. Really don't care if I get anything. Yeah, me too. I'm not really. I've actually gotten. See, I've got amazing friends and amazing people around me that have gotten me stuff far beyond what I expected, and I'm grateful. Uh, I love you guys. I'll have family that'll get me stuff, and I'm more than grateful and happy with them. Um, but like I said, my focus was my kids, and I na- I nailed everything on the checklist. I really did. And uh, it wasn't exactly what I wanted to get them, but I got right there where I wanted to be, and that's what I was focused on. So uh, I'm just glad. Um Trying to think, where are we at? Because I'm getting down to the bottom of my glass, and I'm. This is not a happy sight, um, but this is. Oh, this is, like I say, if you guys ever try it, the, uh, not the uh, not the most overpriced. This was like, it wasn't too much, but the High West whiskey. And like I said, anybody, I love this bottle. I love this bottle. I don't know. It's like the little details like this that really, really sets off my like. The little bubbles in the glass, it kind of makes it look all uh, Western, you know, like original. It probably is like hand, handmade, you know, lower uh, or it's thicker, but I don't know. It looks really cool and I like it a lot. But uh, yeah, this is some good stuff. Let's see here. What else we got? Um but I hope everybody else gets uh, gets everything done. Like I said, I need to meet up with some of you guys. We need to get together and do another meetup. Uh, every, you know, for some of us get together. Ellen, like I said, I'm coming down on the second, or no, the first. I come down on the first because the uh, the second's when I got to do the the setup. But uh, I'll be coming down the first. Maybe we can get together. I don't know. We'll we'll see what your schedule's like. I'm gonna be like I said. I'm stuck in a hotel. Uh, well, I'm not gonna be stuck there. I'm gonna. I'll be monitoring over a, a data copy for over the evening, but and no, I will not be doing any default passwords. I don't want anybody else doing default any of these lower crappy passwords either. Low, go look at those lists. Start coming with more complex and appreciate, love your complex passwords. They will keep your data safe. They will keep your email safe because most of the times those em- those email people don't care about anything that's in your account. They're using your account to spam from, and then once your account gets banned, they move on to somebody else with a crappy, stupid password. So in the end, you're the one that's getting burned, but they're doing it because it's going to, you know, they're trying trying to get that little bit of money. You got uh, you got the Debussy album? Yes, we got it. Yes, we can. We get it. got to the beat. Got to hit the beach. Oh, rock on. Wait, Dubo- I did not. Dubussy album. You have to send that to me. Not quite sure what's going on with that one. Right, where are we at on time? I'm kind of running downhill now, and I know I'm not doing that great of a show. Like I said, everybody that showed up and hung out, I appreciate it. I love you guys so much. Um, I know this wasn't one of the better shows. I wanted to do something. I'm having a, you know, I'm kind of spaced out between uh, multiple monitors here and trying to keep track of a show and everything else. Um, Everybody say uh, happy holidays, uh, solstice to Beard Gary and his family. They're amazing, lovely people. Um, I'm really sad they couldn't make it. Uh, I was a little upset. I may have come a little bit, uh, 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 maybe bit in a little bit much, but... I love the guy. I really do. Um, I really wanted to do this show, uh, do this show tonight. I, I put a lot of energy into it. I was really looking forward to it. Um, I really didn't have time for it, but uh, you can see I didn't quite prepare as well as I normally do. But you know what? We still had an amazing show. I love you guys. Um, like I said, next week we will not be able to ha- do a show. There's just no way. I do not have. I will not have a free night at all. Uh, all next week. I am literally going to be running around like crazy happy hanukkah there you go gold crow uh hey awesome show regardless merry christmas everybody yeah uh, from retro yeah i love you guys you guys have a great one have a happy new year we will definitely see you guys in 2019 i kind of wanted to do this little christmas show um those whiskey drinkers try some sweet cinnamon with your uh whiskey um i'm gonna say it's definitely a, a smooth whiskey don't not your normal uh with a good bite, get you a good smooth whiskey, and I'm pretty sure it'll complement that. Oh, one other thing, I was going to talk about this: the steam controller. 
This is an amazing controller for $5. Now, that being said, it's not the greatest controller. And I can see why they kind of put on sale and why it didn't sell. A lot of the buttons are really good. They just have this kind of squishiness to them. Not a very good, it's not that good, it's not that a hollow click. The but I, That I can get used to. I think it should have been a little bit quieter, but I will say this. Oh, and these are buttons here. I thought that was really, a really amazing. I, I would like to see more companies do that. And the cool thing is, is like you literally, the same thing as the buttons is also a pop-off and it's a, where the batteries go. That's really freaking cool. But as soon as you put a cover back on, the cover is also, there's a button on either side. But I'm going to say this much. The D-pad here, if you guys can see this, this gigantic D-pad is really hard to work with. And I have, while working in the menu system, I went to, I used it on uh, Steam full screen, which is the controller mode for these. I had a, I would keep hitting, a, I would try to push up and I would hit the, hit the, it would hit the center to bring up, to start typing letters. And I didn't want that. And I kept doing it. I really got frustrated with it. I finally was just like, I'm done. I can't do this anymore. Um, beyond that, the rest of the buttons work. The uh, diagonal pad works well. This little, uh, it's not a touch button. It's just a really large diagonal. I don't know. I hadn't tried it with plugged in USB. I just tried it with the wireless. The cool thing was as soon as you plug it in, the Steam, uh, the Steam app, uh, once you plug it in and Windows recognizes it, which automatically recognizes it as a Steam controller, the application, the Steam, uh, the Steam app automatically goes, oh, you have a Steam controller. Would you like it to flip into big picture mode? And it actually highlights the icons and tells you everything you got to do. It really, really makes it super simple. So the software-wise is freaking amazing with this controller itself. I believe if, uh, honestly, I really think if Steam can hammer out, make this controller a little bit better, I think it would be absolutely amazing for the computer. There's a lot, there's very few games I actually play, but I do have like Broforce and stuff I would love to. Uh, I heard the D-pad was more of a scrolling pad. It kind of is, but it's still, it's still, still a button. I don't know. It's, it's really weird. Or maybe I'm just pressing down too hard. But that's, see, that's the thing. I, maybe I need to play around with it a little bit more. But I kept pressing down and would hit the button. Maybe it's just one big button and it's a touchpad. I'll have to play with it. But I'm used, to, I'm such an old school player, you know, diagonal pad, pad, press the button. So maybe I was wrong about that. But that, to me, that's just instinctive. You have a diagonal pad, you press down, not just slide your thumb around. So... I don't know. I'm going to do a little bit more, but I, that was the, the frustration I had with it. Other than that, this thing worked pretty flawless. Plug it into a Windows 10 computer, just comes right up. No drivers load, nothing. Uh, it came with the two uh, Duracell batteries. I think these two buttons down here are really great because it gives you just a ton of, like, just a ton of key button presses options. So it's got good weight to it, too. It fits pretty comfortable in the hand. So I don't know. I think it'd be great. Like I said, it was an absolute steal, and it's an amazing price for what I got it for. But for the regular fifty bucks, uh, I'd be hard pressed. But like I said, once I get, I have to play with it and try getting used to it a little bit better. But I did want to talk about that. I did break it out. I did use it. Me and my daughter played around with it. Um, I it may wind up just becoming hers <laughs> because I'm such an old school, you know, keyboard and mouse player. So. Anyway, let's see here. Old Crow might be better if they worked on Half-Life 2 to Episode 3 or Half-Life 3. Exactly. Yeah, door, yeah, it is. It uses uh, it uses two double A's. Yep, two Daryl cells. Battery there and a battery there, and that's actually where the weight comes from. But I like the fact they put them on each handle, and it, it's, uh, it makes the weight even. But it does have a micro USB where you can plug it in the computer. And I believe if you plug in a micro B, it powers it by that. And then uh, you could use it uh, wired. But it does come with a Bluetooth dongle to pl uh, plug it in. I wonder if it's Bluetooth. That'd be kind of cool. So uh, beyond that, yep. So the glass is finished. That means when the uh, when the whiskey, happy juice, and... Uh, 
is out of the bottle or out of the glass or done. <sighs> Time to wrap up the show. So, <laughs> once again, thank you very much. I know that towards the end, of this is the show ran a little bit, a little bit slower than normal, but. I had fun, and I'm grateful you guys came and hung out, and you guys chatted with me. The The chat's been great. So, uh, yep, yeah, Retro, you have a good one. Uh, well, me and you got to hang out sometime. Uh, like I said, hit me up about tomorrow. Like I said, tomorrow's only going to be a half day for me, so uh, I may or may not be there. Anyway, I love you guys very much. You guys take it easy. Oh, yeah, I got to do two different things here. Beginning as I'm the one here by myself, I've got to literally do two computers to do this with. All right, so that's there, that's there. You guys have a great holiday. Have a happy new year, and I will see you guys in 2020. Yeah, 2020, new uh, Nerd Cave show next year. So I'll see you guys next time. You guys have an amazing holiday.